And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your friend, Cheap Ludes, in costume as the most annoying person in the nightclub. Let's talk about the new content that we are getting tomorrow in NBA 2K24. My team, I keep wanting to say 23, but I am better than that, and I will stop myself. So we're getting two pack drops tomorrow, which is awesome. I've actually seen people complain about the amount of like content, the amount of pack drops we've gotten, which I have to say, like at that point, you're just complaining to complain because like last year we got absolutely nothing. So please stop complaining. Also, I got a fat pimple on my head. I've been picking at for the last like 15 minutes on stream. Shout out to everybody who came on the Twitch stream. That was what's up. So let's take a look at the new content. We got sultry Trey Young over here, 1950s crooner Trey Young. Honestly, a guy who looked just like this definitely had sex with your grandmother. Well, no, most people our age, our grandmothers would have been like, you know, in their prime in like what, the 70s? So like your great grandma, like this guy slept with your great grandma 100% and did not call her back. There's no question about it. Maybe he did, but you know what? This version of Trey Young is really giving me like doo-wop gang leader vibes right here i don't know i think it's the hair dude it's the lighting on the hair it makes it look so silky smooth like trey young does not have this much hair i'm sorry to say so we got the mirage set tomorrow so not only do we have another legendary path set on the way to shack we also have the mirage set which is our first proper large promo so interesting set so the locking reward is tracy mcgrady who everyone's super excited about it but honestly no, I take that back. He's going to be cracked. He's probably going to be the best shooting guard in the game. Um, if they give him range and him being six foot eight, yeah, he's going to be broken for sure. In addition to that, we got some other cards, though, which are kind of cool. So we got Amethyst, Derek Rose. Derek Rose being that rim running is not necessarily as overpowered as it has been in the past, but Derek Rose could be so fast that majority of other point guards are not able to keep up with him. Realistically, if you want to stop Derek Rose, you probably have to have Jason Kidd. Amethyst, Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen's just going to be a slightly better version of Ruby Ron Artest, which Ruby Ron Artest is still like a top tier small forward in the game, so he's going to be broken. Ruby DeMarcus Cousins could be interesting, actually. Um, he's one of the cards from the set that I think is a little bit of a sleeper. Overlooked, so to speak, because I do think that like DeMarcus Cousins, man, like, if he is, if he can shoot at all, like, with it, he's going to be able to ball handle for sure. He's going to be relatively fast, but if he can shoot even, like, a relatively high clip, he might be out here, man. He might be one of the best big men in the game at this point. Ruby Kyle Korver, uh, he'll be a sniper for sure. Definitely someone, if he didn't cost 56,000 MT, I would be interested in. <laughs> Ruby Carl Malone. No, dude. No, it's too early for young homie Carl, man. No, not Carl Malone. Oh, man. All right. Well, we're getting young Carl out here if you're interested. Uh, Sapphire Jameer Nelson. Not really too excited about Jameer Nelson. I mean, maybe he'll be fun, but whatever. Uh, another sleeper from the set, Andrea Bargiani. Like, Everybody's been running Rafe LaFrance. Like, Rafe LaFrance has gotten a lot of run in this game. And Bargiani is usually, like, a slightly better version of Rafe LaFrance, right? So I'm excited for Bargiani. That's definitely someone that I'm going to pick up as, like, my bench center because Giannis isn't going anywhere. Uh, honestly, Sapphire Jason Richardson as well. Uh, usually a dunker, can usually shoot. He'll be a pretty solid shooting guard. Emerald James Posey might be decent too. Might be a decent 3 and D option. We'll kind of see what's up with that. Emerald Chris Kamen might not even be too terrible either. Shout out to all my receding hairline homies for sure because Chris Kamen's going to hold it down. Chris Kamen, all he does is go on social media and just post guns all the time. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's all he does. His whole social media is just him with like assault rifles. And uh, yeah, honestly, it makes total sense for sure. Emerald, Chris, Birdman, Anderson. I mean, I guess. I'm not going to use them, but, like, I, I guess. Like, Birdman's out here. Cool. My boy Nick Van Exel coming through. This might be the first time that we have a Nick Van Exel card, at least that I can remember, that's going to be usable. Like, you can go into an unlimited game running Nick Van Exel and still have a chance to win. That's crazy. I love that. Now, is he going to be the best? I'm not sure. I think I just love Nick Van Exel because he got the shout out from Jay-Z, which like out of all NBA players, like he decided to 
say ballin like van axel like it's just such a weird person to shout out and honestly if i didn't hate jay-z so much for his illuminati ways i would respect him for that gold stroh mile swift my boy yes uh, is he gonna be good no <laughs> it doesn't matter the stroh shows here absolutely not uh Hakeem Warwick, who I remember being really hyped on uh, when he came out of college, and then, uh, yeah, him being really not great at all, so that's cool. And Gold Bobby Jackson, shout out to anybody who remembers, I think it was 2K21 when Emerald Bobby Jackson was literally a top point guard for like two days. Like, that was sick. I, uh, I liked Bobby Jackson, man, that was good. He was like one of the best point guards, not necessarily in the game, but like that people could realis realistically get for a little while and that was pretty cool so the mirage set is kind of interesting i mean like t-mac is obviously going to be the creme de la creme like scotty pippen and derrick rose are going to be good as well and i think d cuz will be really good but it just kind of depends uh we're only two legendary path cards away from shack so shack's going to be in the mix like pretty soon so you're all money spent people yeah they're gonna have them so we also got our legendary path ben wallace collection coming tomorrow ben wallace should be I don't know. He'll be pretty good. I don't think he's going to be worth the price, which is like in pure VC, like 110,000 VC. I don't think he's worth that, but if you're going for a shack, I guess. So we got Ruby Anthony Edwards. That should be really fun. Uh, Ruby Steve Nash will probably be okay, but Ruby Anthony Edwards is going to be good. Sapphire Trevor Ariza, honestly. Sleeper as well. He'll be a pretty good 3 and D wing. Sapphire Mo Williams. He's available through an agenda. Of course, my boy Trevor Ariza isn't. Bummer. Uh, Mo Williams will be okay, I guess. I don't know. Sapphire Ben Gordon. Hell yeah. Bulls legend Ben Gordon and uh, knife enthusiast, I guess. That's cool. Emerald Matt Bonner. Shout out to Matt Bonner. That's going to be sick. My personal, like, I don't want to say favorite, but the card I'm very hyped for, Sasha Vucevic. Yes, sir. Let's go. Bring young Sasha into the game. And he's grindable, so you can grind for him. He's an emerald, but whatever. Emerald Jerry Stacked Eddie Stackhouse. Okay. I mean, he'll probably suck, but like at the same time, that's Stackhouse, bro. Emerald Tree Rollins. Of course, I get to grind for the honor of playing with Tree Rollins. Uh, couldn't let me grind for Matt Bonner. No. Had to be Tree Rollins. I mean, I know those are both not like enviable names, but. Jesus, man, no one wants Tree Rollins. I mean, he's huge, but come on. Gold Tiago Splitter. Great. Gold Darren Collison. Sure. Mo Williams. Win a multiplayer game using three Cavaliers players. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. That's very easy to do. Okay. Win a game using five legendary path players by seven or more points. I'm not even sure if I have five. I would have to check. Score 22 points in the paint with Hawks players over multiple triple threat offline games. I mean, at least it's easy. Get three defensive rebounds and one offensive rebound with the center in a game. Okay, the one thing I will say is at least all of these cards are grindable and relatively easy. Um, so, like they said, it's going to be similar to the 2K Day challenges that we got at the very beginning. So, it'll obviously start with a chance to get an equal chance uh, gold pack, which, you know, it'll probably be pretty basic stuff. I'm sure they're going to make us play domination again, but it'll just be things like win two games in a row, you know, win a TT game with three gold players or whatever, whatever. So, I mean, it's going to be relatively basic and then it'll obviously scale up from there, you know, go over to the Emerald one. You'll have to do just things that are a smidge more annoying, like get a double, double with a graded gold player, you know, win three games in a row with like weird requirements and stuff and then we go to the sapphire one this is when it's going to like push you into online all of a sudden now you have to go do the dumbest things imaginable um if it's like this though i'm not upset with it like earn mt and clutch time modes like 150 points with 2k day players over multiple games if they keep it open so you can do it online or offline i think this will be huge and then we're going to get obviously to the ruby and once we get to the ruby that's where stupid stuff's going to happen like mostly all multiplayer um and then you also have to win two games to 2k day players and then this one i still haven't done the win five games in a row using five graded sapphires like I, I still haven't done it because every time like i said every time i try to do it i start getting on the path I literally will like stream and play online and I'll forget about it and I'll reset. So, you know, it is what it is. I should do this though, just in case I get Ron Artest. Like, it's kind of like 
worthwhile, I would say. But hey, you know, who's to say? Either way, I mean, it's good that we're seeing a bevy of new content. I mean, granted, the grindable content tomorrow doesn't really seem that great. Um, from like a, you know, it's no Tuesday's con. Was it Tuesday when we got the uh, summer standouts? It's no summer standout. That I can say with the utmost certainty, but it's still grindable content. It is what it is. We're getting a bunch of cards tomorrow. Look, you know I will be reporting live on which cards suck and which cards don't. If you won't follow me on Twitter, you should, because I do card reviews all through the morning while I'm at work, and then I come home and I record videos. So that being said, have a good day, you guys.